guys, I'm not coming back. I'm going to stay on the float because they're going to the VIP section. Mike, get down now. Oh, all right. <laughs> Following Mayor Adelman and his family are Mayor Pro Tem Steve Zickerman and council members from the City of Rolling Hills Estates. Mayor Pro Tem Zickerman has been a member of the RHE City Council since November 1997. He's the chair of the City's Traffic and Safety Committee and Holiday Parade Committee, so thank you Steve for putting on such a wonderful event and serves as the city's representative to the Los Angeles County West Factor Control District and West Basin Municipal Water District. He also serves as alternate to the California Contract Cities Association. He's also co-chair of this year's Palisades Peninsula Holiday Parade of Lights. Welcome to our Mayor Pro Tem and City Council of Rolling Hills Estates. And I jump from one float to the next, and you're never amazed where you're gonna find me. But on board our float, I'm sitting right next to Britt Huff, council member. Merry Christmas, dear everyone. Great to see you all out here tonight. And we'll get back to Frank in just a second. We have Judy Mitchell. Judy, you're looking lovely. Thank you. Merry Christmas to everybody. At last, we have reasonable weather this year. Not too cold and not too wet. Thank you for all coming out. And council elect. Velvet Smith, how are you? Looking lovely. I'm doing well, thank you. Happy holidays, everyone. Thanks for coming out. And sitting right across from me here, Steve Zuckerman, council member. Steve, say uh, hello to the audience in the crowds. Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy holidays. And we're so glad you could come out today because the weather's so good. So I think that means a really, really Merry Christmas for everybody. Thank you, Steve. And city manager, Doug Pritchard. Happy holidays. Thanks, Mike. And thanks for everyone for being here tonight. And right behind Doug, Susie Siemens, longtime former council member, still very active in the community. Susie, you look lovely. Thank you, Thank you very much. Uh, this year, we got lucky with the weather. Uh, I have always been here when the weather was good and I've also been here when the weather was really rotten and we have we are thankful that you all are here today Merry Christmas thank you Susie and where would I be about Frank Zeranian Frank happy holidays happy holidays everyone I thought you were gonna say you look lovely too but <laughs> you didn't say that I was going all right Merry Christmas everyone thanks for coming and council members, council member elect and former council member, city manager, have a great happy holidays. Next we have sponsored by Shorewood Realtors, the Jane Adams Middle School Mighty Marching Bengals. It's a group of dedicated young musicians and dancers ages 12 to 14 from the Lawndale Elementary School District. For many of these, it's their first parade. And let's welcome Cut Scouts Pack 166, the Palace Verdes. And it looks like we have some soapbox derbies there. How far you think you can jump a soapbox derby? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Those are some pretty great cars, I have to say.
And let's welcome pack 276, Palos Verdes Estates. Next step, sponsored by Shorewood Realtors, are shock treatment and aftershock. Shock Treatment Senior Dance and Drill Team was established in 1990 as a military drill team with only 10 members. The Shock Treatment Dance Team has grown to more than 20 members this year. Under the leadership of Director Pat Magana, instructors Madeline Gonzalez and Melissa Reyes, and led by Captain and 2015 Junior Miss Dance Drill Solo Champion, Miss Elizabella Gonzalez. Shock Treatment displays energy and enthusiasm, which has led to more than 43 state regional and Hawaiian championship dance and solo titles. Please welcome Shock Treatment and Aftershock. And if shock treatment didn't get you rocking, here comes Aftershock, an 11 member strong team of showstoppers who shake up the street with their never ending energy and style. They're proud to introduce their 2016 captain, Miss Michaela Malancos, who along with her teammates are currently the winners of more than 21 state, regional, and solo championship titles. The Aftershocks are under the direction of instructors Ashley Acuna and Madeline Gonzalez. Here comes Aftershock. And let's give them a round of applause. And now coming by in a 1956 Dodge Custom Morrell, we have the city of Rancho Palos Verdes represented by Mayor Ken Dydra. That was a 1956 Dodge Custom Royal. The city council and city staff of Rancho Palos Verdes wishes everyone a magical holiday season and a joyous new year. And let's have a Cub Scout pack, one to 28. Hey, the Vikings. Hold that banner proud, Vikings. Next, we have the UCLA Health. For more than a half century, UCLA Health has provided the best in health care and the latest in medical technology to patients in LA and throughout the world. Without the newest medical office now open at 501 Deep Valley in Palos Verdes and several other offices located throughout the South Bay, UCLA Health looks forward to many years of helping the South Bay stay healthy. 
Oh, one of my favorite, the 4 H Club of Palos Verdes. Yay! I always love it when the animals are coming through. But where's where's Rudolph? You guys are forgetting someone. The 4-H Club is the oldest youth organization in the United States, and it's run by the federal government under the Department of Agriculture. The Palos Verdes 4-H Club has been on the hill since the 1950s and consists of over 130 members, 54 leaders, and is involved in over 35 projects. And now we have the canines coming through. followed by all the moms and dads who support them. And coming in the lineup now, we have the trolley with the commissioners. And it's a wild runaway here, but Dale. Dale, why don't you say something about all the commissioners here for the city of Rolling Hills Estates. No, it's a great job serving the people here and helping them with uh, their projects. We really love all of you and hope you have a happy holidays and Merry Christmas. Very good. Now we've got a whole load here on the trolley as we dip down here. If you wouldn't mind turning around and talking to the camera. You didn't know I'd be here. No, this is great. It's great to see everybody out here tonight. Uh, it's a beautiful night, unlike the last couple of years. But uh, continue to show our support for the city, and congratulations. Great job, everyone. Great job, commissioners, <laughs> committee members, everyone on the trolley. Thank you very much. Give me a ride there. I like it. As we wait for PV15 sponsored by Shorewood Realtors, I just want to mention to anyone who's interested in the Pac-12 score, we are 13-3 Stanford. Led by director Jason Foltz, PV15 is one of Palos Verde's premier music ensembles. From classical to rock, jazz to movie soundtracks, PV15 leads the way in spectacular musical showmanship. PV15. And I'd like to welcome Eileen Hupp, who's the President and CEO of the Palos Verdes Peninsula Chamber of Commerce. And Eileen, welcome to the beautiful Parade of Lights. Thank you. So happy to be here again this year. You know, the Chamber does so much, and I know they're so involved with the Parade. It's wonderful how all the businesses get active up here on the hill. Absolutely. It's very important for our residents to support our local businesses, not just at the holiday season, but all year. And this celebration that the City of Rolling Hills Estate sponsors, you know, bringing people out for this great family night, um, the businesses are very appreciative of it. We really thank you very much. Thank the city for doing this. Well, you know, it's a great welcome to the City of Rolling Hills Estates and the business district up here and for the businesses up here to bring residents from all over because the bands mm -hmm. that come from across Southern California bring a lot of people with them. I know. I'm actually really excited because I get to be a spectator this year and I have been in the parade for the last several years so I'm very excited that this year I will actually get to see it. So it's going to be really fun. Well it's going to be great. The evening is just beautiful here on top of the hill. Now tell me about the chamber a little bit. Let our residents know out there in the community know what the chamber's goal is. Okay. Well thank you for that. Our goal is to promote our local businesses and strengthen the local economy because we believe that when our businesses thrive the quality of life in the community improves exponentially. And we're a membership organization, we're a nonprofit group and we have about 400 businesses that are members of the chamber and interestingly it will be our 60th anniversary in 2016. So we are very 
very excited that we've been promoting businesses and connecting businesses and creating jobs and bringing people to the community for 60 years. You know, the Chamber does so much, and I know they're so involved with the parade. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful how all the businesses get active up here on the hill. Absolutely. It's very important for our residents to support our local businesses, not just at the holiday season, but all year. And this celebration that the City of Rolling Hills Estate sponsors, you know, bringing people out for this great family night, um, the businesses are very appreciative of it. We really thank you very much. Thank the city for doing this. Well, you know, it's a great welcome to the City of Rolling Hills Estates and the business district up here and for the businesses up here to bring residents from all over because the bands mm -hmm. that come from across Southern California bring a lot of people with them. I know. I'm actually really excited because I get to be a spectator this year and I have been in the parade for the last several years so I'm very excited that this year I will actually get to see it. So it's going to be really fun. Well it's going to be great. The evening is just beautiful here on top of the hill. Now tell me about the chamber a little bit. Let our residents know out there in the community know what the chamber's goal is. Okay. Well thank you for that. Our goal is to promote our local businesses and strengthen the local economy because we believe that when our businesses thrive the quality of life in the community improves exponentially. And we're a membership organization, we're a nonprofit group and we have about 400 businesses that are members of the chamber and interestingly it will be our 60th anniversary in 2016. So we are very very excited that we've been promoting businesses and connecting businesses and creating jobs and bringing people to the community for 60 years. Yeah, that's great. That's a long time there, mm -hmm. six decades. But you know that a lot of people understand when you shop local, yes. not only the sales tax dollars go back to your local community, but it also helps employment for the people. Absolutely, because when Abercrombie & Fitch, for example, does well, they can hire more people who can then go across to the good stuff and have lunch, you know, and then go down to Felix Hair Design and get their hair done. So it's all you know, it's very much a circle and um, everyone has to thrive together. So you're absolutely right about that. And for the holiday season, you expect a lot of people to come up the hill? Absolutely. I mean, this is a beautiful place to shop. There's free parking. It's safe. We have wonderful stores, wonderful restaurants. And um, to me, I've been a resident here for 30 years. It's got a little bit of a small town feel. You know the people in the stores. So it's a very personal, warm and friendly kind of shopping environment. And not just shopping, but there's also dining establishments. Absolutely. Dining and entertainment. We have everything from the fabulous Norris Theater to the, the movie theaters, the ice skating rink, um, lots of attractions, the Palos Verdes Arts Center, the South Coast Botanic Garden. So you can spend the whole weekend here and have a great time. And would you like to wish anyone out there happy holidays? I would. I'd like to wish all of our businesses and all of our residents a very happy holidays and, and the best for a prosperous and healthy 2016. Well, thank you. Wish you happy holidays. Eileen Hupp, President and CEO, Palos Verdes Peninsula Chamber of Commerce. And coming up now, I have... 